Hi guys, welcome back to the new episode on my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing great. So in our today's video, we'll discuss about glycogen storage diseases. So let's begin our today's topic with the discussion of the glycogen storage disorders with hepatomegaly and hypoglycemia. So the first disorder we'll discuss today is von Giarchi's disease which is the type 1 glycogen storage disease. It is caused due to the enzyme deficiency of glucose 6-phosphatase. And the clinical features include hepatomegaly, severe fasting hypoglycemia, hyperuricemia, lactic acidosis and hyperlipidemia. Let's move ahead and now talk about Cori's disease also known as Forbes disease. This is the type 3 glycogen storage disease and it is caused due to the deficiency of amyloglucosidase also known as debranching enzyme. The clinical features of Cori's disease include hepatomegaly and mild hypoglycemia. And the last disorder of hepatomegaly and hypoglycemia is Herz disease which is the type 6 glycogen storage disorder and this is caused due to the enzyme deficiency of liver phosphorylase. The clinical features include hepatomegaly and hypoglycemia. Moving ahead now let's talk about the disorders with muscle energy impairment. The first disorder we'll discuss about is McArdle's disease which is a type 5 disease and is caused due to the deficiency of muscle glycogen phosphorylase. The clinical features include muscle cramps, myoglobinuria, male preponderance and exercise intolerance. Next let's talk about Torrey's disease which is the type 7 disease and it is caused due to the deficiency of Phosphofructokinase. Hemolysis is seen in patients with Tauri's disease. Moving ahead, now let's discuss about the disorders with skeletal and cardiac muscle impairment. We'll talk about Pompe's disease, which is the type 2 disease, and it is caused due to the deficiency of glucosidase. And the clinical features include skeletal muscle weakness, severe cardiomegaly, and failure. And at last we have disorders with liver cirrhosis and in this we have Anderson's amylopectinosis which is type 4 disease. And this is caused due to the deficiency of amylotransglucosidase also known as glycogen branching enzyme. And its clinical features include failure to thrive, hepatomegaly, progressive liver cirrhosis and failure. Usually death occurs before the fifth year of life. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. And yes, if you have still not liked this video or subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to do it. See you in my next episode. Till then, bye. Take care.